Okay, welcome back uh, from the coffee break. Uh, now to the next lecture before the first panel. And uh, we will listen to Santiago Cirugueda, uh, who uh, is active under the, the name of Recetas Urbanas in Seville, Spain, but also in Madrid, I think. Yes. Yes. Uh, Santiago Cirugueda has developed uh, subversive projects with distinct ambitions in urban realities. Uh, from the systematic occupation of public spaces uh, in containers to low-cost self-built projects that need the expert expertise of someone used to navigating and often exploiting uh, Spain's complicated planning bu bu bureaucracy. Santiago Cirugueda is sometimes referred to as a guerrilla architect. Uh, he is now working together with local governments to implement new housing models for the socially disadvantaged. He's, he has also uh, written many articles, given workshops, lectures and seminars in schools and universities, and he has also par participated in solo and group exhibitions worldwide. Please welcome Santiago Cirugueda. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, hi. Hi, Alice. She's my partner and our daughter, too. So say hello. And OK, uh, yes, at the end, uh, we are architects. I spent 12 years to finish my studios in Sevilla, but at the end, I had problems. So I finished in Barcelona. Because during my years studying, uh, it was nice to study Le Corbusier and many of them. But for me, it was very boring uh, to be each day making models, drawings, study historical actors. And at the end, for me, it was very, very silly when I was studying to understand what happened in my city. It, it was the first project I made 24 years ago. And it's pretty stupid. I was only one citizen who was studying architecture. But uh, for me, the, the first question is how one citizen could be in contact with the official politics. How a person have the right to go to the urban planning office or to the city to say, we need a playground in the old center. Sevilla has the biggest old center or historical center in Spain. But during that years, uh, on, in all the neighborhoods, nobody had a playground. It's very silly. I have now a daughter and I understand. So for me, it was how one citizen had to, the right to, to make one. If you demand to the city and the city say no, because it's one old city, so it's very modern to make a playground, so it's impossible. He say, fuck. So I looked for a, the regulation. It was my first time because I saw it, it, it is possible to pay a license, to put a, one skips, to put garbage. It's possible. So if you rent one and you pay the license for that type of skips, and then you make a playground. It was the first time I appeared the police in my life. 24. It was very silly. I was studying ar architecture, but I wanted to understand how we have the, 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 the right to intervene in our own city. The next project I made, it was the same. Each year I took money uh, working in a bar or painting walls. And then uh, I say, OK, the second pro program is how to intervene the old buildings, housing, equipment in our city, in Sevilla. So I make a, a, a graffiti in the, that building at night, and then I went to the urban planning office and I said, I'm a very bad citizen, sorry. I want to repaint in white, but I need one scaffolding. So they gave me the license for put the scaffolding in the street, and then I went to, to live there during three months. But it was only to test what's happening with our regulation. Here appear that uh, from 21 years ago, saying the same, okay, if you want to change, you could be legal or illegal, or illegal in the middle. And what the reason to understand, OK, we have laws, we have rights, we have regulation. And the first 
question, no? You have a first world uh, country, you know, and you are the first level of education, university, and how, uh, how many of you know the law, participation law in Sweden? You know that the law, participation law in each country is the law that, that permit to make politics in between the, the social groups and the, the government. Is the, the government must to offer new lines to make in between new politics. You have a law. I checked yesterday in the hotel. It's nice. It's very elegant. But it's okay, no? Uh, for me, day by day, I, I try to understand different laws in different countries. In the Arabic countries, it's totally different. In Africa, too. In the first world, it's different than in Latin America. But it's nice to try to understand, not to use always. Sometimes you are illegal. But the, the minimum for me, yeah, you are a citizen, you pay your taxes. The problem, because we were working 12 years in Latin America. There is in, in Panama, in, in Guatemala, in Colombia, so much time and in many different environments. And for me, it was very important to understand that they are where the government haven't all the power, all the money, all the regulation too, to give for the citizen all they need. The citizen invents day by day, invents the squats, they invent the, 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 the environment, the public space, the works, the education, and all. In the first world, you have a government with very high level, with money you pay a very high level of taxes and they give you education, healthy and all. No? But uh, for me, it's very important uh, to work in the middle. No? So uh, We need a state, a government with power, with money, with good laws, but we need to, to have protocols to, to work day by day, not only one day for each four years that you vote, from the right, the left, the middle, the green, I don't know. And then you wait what's happened. No, you have your protocol in each country are different, but you have it. It was the same, no? If the city of Sevilla decide to cut uh, 200 uh, trees in our neighborhood, and we think, not me, more than 2,000 people fighting on the street, and we decide to occupy the trees, not permit to cut, and the end is, they say, the city say, no, but it's still all the, it's either three and the other and the other and say, okay, you have professional, but we are professional too. You have architects in your city, you have lawyers, you have ecologists, but we have to in the social fights. No? So we try to make different occupation at first in Sevilla. Now it's very normal. In Sevilla, we had during that years, uh, I don't remember, 300 uh, empty lots, public empty lots, sites. So if the city don't use it, because it's our site, when the, the property is public, it's ours, not yours for the politician, no, it's our. And the law say, if you don't use it in eight years, we can use it without any license. And it's happening in all Spain, in part of Europe, in Italy too. So we try to make the legal project without any license, then we demand ourselves and say, okay, now it's illegal, but it could be legal if you collaborate with us. But don't wait, never wait to, okay, well, sometimes we wait, okay. So it was the, the, our first po position to understand the law, sometimes to respect, sometimes to say, to say, no, isn't a good law, so to prepare to make the project directly because the people has a need and you go to go straight. I remember that it's the, our office, Recetas Urbanas, and my daughter, and okay, when we appear in newspaper, then appear more young people in Granada, very, very near from Sevilla, 100 students from one school of art and architecture, and they say, okay, we listen about your practice, we want to have, we need a space in the university free with our kids to work on, on holidays, to work at night, work all year. When we decide, the student, ah, the second question, who of you, knows about the regulation in your own university. Your rights. Please study. 
not models, more models, more study. Because at the end, you have rights. It's very similar, the participation for the citizen in the city than the participation of the student in the university. If you read the two regulations, you can check that you, have, you are the first actor. It's a peer in the university. The first actor, you can propose question, answer, uh, how to use the spaces. You have the right, I am sure, I promise you. But you need to spend time looking for that. That a student, 18 years ago, they invite us. I just have my title, or, and they, they decide to, to build because the dean, the dean of the university say, no, the university is perfect. So silent and study. And that group of students say, no, sorry, but we have our rights. And if you don't pay the new building, if you don't give the license, we'll make it. So the first, we haven't any money. So we dismount the building very near from the university, that building, beautiful or not. But uh, with this month, we took all the materials, and then we make workshops, alternative in other places, design, make it social design with people, making ourselves of the foundation, the, the walls, uh, very poor system, I know, uh, stolen uh, material from other works. I think when you, you stole if you take a property for you, but if you take a property for others, is a stall. But both projects are social projects and public projects. So we'll, you will see that material, it's cork. So we built that building during one year. It was amazing without any license. And it was our first experience to build a, a small build, a building. And the people say that the process was amazing, but at the end, he said, yes, it's beautiful, the process with the people, with the neighborhood, with all, but at the end, it's ugly. It's ugly. And I always say, all of you have an ugly friend. So Peter, Peter is ugly, you know. So the mother knows too. But Peter is happy, invite you beer, it's a good answer, but it's ugly, you know. <laughs> no, it's very clear. Sometimes the architecture could be ugly, but it's a good person. <laughs> it's like, no, but Peter, Peter is a good person, you know. Because sometimes the architecture is pornography, you know? It could be amazing. The picture, amazing. Oh, wow, wow, with blonde girls, a beautiful man, black man. It's, super, it's boring. But it's ugly, but it's beautiful in, in, inside, OK? <laughs> that connects with the next project that people from Malaga, not only from Malaga, from Madrid, Murcia, all the rest of the east of Spain, more students say, OK, if in Granada they are making that one, we could make the same. So in the new school of architecture and, uh, and art, they invite us to, to teach there. And I say, no, no, sorry. I, I say yesterday, I like the university not so much, but I like it too. It's ugly, but beautiful in, inside. But at the end, you say, no, we can't teach. But we can offer the student to build themselves their own classroom, not for the teacher, only for the student. So we made a very fast project in summer in one month directly with the office, not with the people. It was not collaborated design, but the collaborating building. And on the top of the building, because the, the state, the regional state, decided that building for the School of the Art, but not the building with bricks. It's down. It's the ground floor without any lights. It was stupid. So if the university decided a very stupid idea to make a new school, we say, no, no, we need light. We need sun in Malaga. So we build with, uh, at the end, 255 person, I remember, very young people. So it, for us, it was how to learn. At the end, we had a license for that. It was different, and all that sacks are full of cork, and the cork went to Granada because we had a, a small budget here, but no money in the other. So we understand, OK, in Granada they need material. I have material. I bring material to there. So I, I say, so it's public money. So for me, it's an important. It's from Malaga or Granada, from Madrid, from Barcelona. I see very clear. No? So if they appear the police, I can explain. Don't worry. So we made that two pro, uh, classroom. 
and it was a beautiful way to connect people, young people from different cities in, in Spain, no? from 45 different cities. So it was our first example of how to organize a network to collaborate together and make a new type of university. So the, the, at the end, the student, they were the first actors. They decide when they open that. They decide if they invite the teachers. It was two examples. I like the technology. I love it. But it's a pity because if you want to have a beer after to work, it's impossible, no? It's beautiful, that, but I prefer that picture. I prefer the picture where you need people to make the same thing at the same time. So it's beautiful when we say that the, all the girls, it was a very group, a big group of young girls, and we invite Granada to came to Malaga, and then appear people from Madrid, and, and then you meet with 200 people and say, what's happened here? Why they decide to work together? Who pay? It's dangerous, it's sad, it's beautiful too. So at the end, we prefer that type of pictures when we need it was in one school. It's legal to work with uh, teenagers or with children with eight years old building. Is it legal or not? No idea, again. It's legal that uh, one guy eight years old say, mom, I want to, to play skate on to uh, go to the beach and swimming all day and to climb mountains. Is it legal or not? It's the same. If a children decide, mom, I want to build my own school, we, of course, we have all education, all the insurance, all the protocols to involve all type of people, all people, young people, in the last working with refugees too, with other type of insurance and other type of documents. In each process, we, we need to check all the regulation again and then decide if we want to make legal or illegal things. It was at the same time. We are working in very short time process to demand, like this, in uh, Canada Island, demanding that uh, it was one illegal road for the tourists, and it was illegal. So the city in Fuerteventura was illegal, the, the government, not the citizens. So we, we cut uh, the road. Yes, you make one illegal thing over another illegal thing. Of course, the police have not appeared directly, but later it appeared, not in that place. So it, it's a question to say, OK, we are like the film. No? <laughs> you say me if I'm illegal or not, but I look at you. So sometimes we make a small action. <laughs> it's for my mom, of course. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, uh, that is uh, a joke, but sometimes we, are, we make more official, not more official, because we never make competitions. We always appear when a group of person, like in Latin America, they invite us, okay, we spend eight years, six years, trying to convince the administration. And we think we have the right to demand that. So can you collaborate with us? And we say, it could be. So that project, it was because in a public school in Sevilla, uh, you have the right to have a dining room for the children, not to eat in a corner 10 minutes, uh, four uh, turns of children, 45 uh, children in 10 minutes. Next, next, next now. So I, in the law appear that in each public center, school, you, you need one is a beautiful space to, to have dinner or lunch. So at the end, we were waiting nearly two years, uh, trying to convince our regional government. We are from Andalusia, 80 million of person, and we were with the council, with the president, and all of that politicians. So at the end, we said, no, so we will make it. If you don't want to collaborate, it's an important. Do you think that you will send the police when children are working, building themselves as the politician must? No, it's stupid. So at the end, with Alice in the middle, 
we have that uh, box that Alice in the Middle has. It's the total weapon. Inside that total weapon, we have all that all type of insurance of legal documents. Because when you appear in the urban planning office and say, we will build with the children. No, it's impossible. It's legal for you. You open the, the, the total weapon. And in total, we go, because we have a law in Europe to build yourself public buildings. We build ourselves illegal housing in Latin America, but public centers built by the people it's in Spain and in many different places is until it's, it's impossible. It's very difficult. I have our license, one license, and appear in a public license that children's father and mother will build. So it's a legal document that is very strange. In a magazine of lawyers in Berlin, they, they, they put that because they say it's very strange that a city permit to build children public building. No? So it's very strange. So for me, that document is amazing. No? And in the website of our regional government appear during only two months, children with helmet. And the new president of the regional government say, what's that? Take off, take off that the children, no? So it's a, it's a and uh, some architects appear at the beginning and say, mm, do you want to paint the walls? They go, no, no, we will build the walls. It's impossible. And the columns? Yes. And the roof? Yes. And your motherfucker? Yes. It's a pity. Because at the end we build during one year early, two days, very hot weather. And we built with uh, 347 from 37 different nationalities. That uh, building that people say, Santi, you have a problem because it starts to be more beautiful, not ugly. So take it easy, no? But at the end, it was one example the how, so when you go to demand to the city or the regional government or the state, at the end you you could make as you want, be legal, more legal, half illegal. But that you know to to you must to know the law. And when you go and say no, we want to have that project because it's good for the people. No, 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 no. It's more it's beautiful, but it's stupid. So we want to make that project because we are using the a equality law from Europe. We are we are using participation law in Spain and Europe. We are using the law about education. We are using the law of integration because we are involving there a group of refugees, people from mental disabilities. So we are using six laws to make a project. So we never say because it's it's good for the neighbors. No, it's good for the people. No, no, fuck. So it's good because we are using the law. And you make the law. So you understand me or not? So that is the question if you want to demand. Then you say it's beautiful because it's funny because at the end uh, 200 women who work there, so we are shouting that in the workplace appear the women more than the men, and it's very important. And when the people, the, all the families, start to reuse material, to look for second-hand material, Around they appear crazy and appear to move material from Madrid to Barcelona. We have a network in all Spain. We are nearly, well, nearly no more than 100 teams, hackers, architects, lawyers, urban planners. And when we need to demand a very important pro process or project in Bilbao, we appear 10. And when you are with the politician, the technician, all the lawyers and all, they say, oh, OK. And say, who are you? I'm Santi from Sevilla. But we are in Bilbao, yes, because we collaborate together. But no, you don't know about the urban plan. No, but she, she knows. She's professional like you. Yeah, but the lawyer, no, we have two lawyers. Ah, ah. So we, the only way for us during years is to, to prepare like a, an army, a group. We are near more, than, I say this. Uh, Arquitectura Colectiva, you, you could check if you want. We are legal basis, our legal, illegal basis too, to how to connect, demand, convince uh, to make projects. Here appear the list of people who, who work it and the, and the fee. Because at the end, that building, 
cost to the urban region, o sea, the normal price is 400,000 and it costs only 100,042 euros, the third part. So it's stupid. So, so you show that people working together and with the technical code in my hand, appear the framing, appear the professor from the education and it's a project that we built during one year. It was the experience amazing, I don't want to say, but and during, it's very important that the responsibility to use the public land. The normal is when appear a project, appear a wall or a fence, and appear, don't permit the people outside from the works. And it's closed for all the citizens until it's finished. Then appear the politician, make the picture, and it's open. Fuck. <laughs> so we did all our works, we used the workplace like a place for sleep, eat, invite people, dance, flamenco, all we want. We have, I normally, the profession of security and safety. So in my pro project, in my official project, I put, it's permit to dance, it's permit to drink alcohol, it's permit to invite children, because I have the res responsibility, so I, I, I can propose. So for the professional, they sometimes my own profession, like you, in Spain, they attack us because they say, you can't involve children, people with any view uh, in your project. Why not? The crazy army we were talking about. In between, we are official project with the, uh, with the city or the government. We make a small project. It's like go to the gym and then play rugby. The most important is to play rugby. But you need to go to the gym. If not, they kill you. So sometimes we are broken, cutting uh, in, I don't know how many public schools and the directors, they say, we are until here, that the city in summer, they cut all the trees, they put concrete in all the public schools in Sevilla, Madrid, and Barcelona. And then in September, we start to make new holes without any license. So the mayor in Sevilla knows and say, oh, but they are making cuts in the concrete we put. Yeah, they go, you're stupid. Don't put more. <laughs> if you put, we cut. <laughs> it's, it's boring now. It's <laughs> they, they, he's a very intellectual person. He's a good writer and looking for how to plan better, no? So uh, we need that uh, small actions. I'm tired to make more holes because I have a list of, of a school that they say, recetas, could you be, came here to cut more concrete and say, no, not more. So in, in two sense, you make some actions to demand, to say, it's stupid, so please stop. And on the other hand, we try to make in a legal way. That project in Madrid, it was the same. The director and all the staff of one public school of design, they say, we haven't enough space. Is the only public with the third grade? degree of uh, design, and that building is for only 175 person, but actually there are 700 students. So the city and Madrid regional government are, aren't giving the, the rights for that student. So it's four times the student for the same place. So we say, okay, we started to build uh, without any license, and it's very uh, strange because in that case, we have the, the permit of the director, Marina, but she's totally crazy. But Marina, if appear, appear the police at the end, of course, and it was funny when appear the police, we are making the last book, because we finished one book, but we forget to bring it here, but we are making a book that where appears, uh, talking about all the project where appear the police in our life. There are 35 different projects that the police appear sometimes in good way, of course. The, we pay them to, to control and to put it all in order. So I respect them. And how they, they understand that type of process. No? I remember when they arrived in that process and appear a couple of police in that moment. No, before. They say, OK, and what's that? They go, no, we are making workshops to teach how to build 
and say, what? So they go, yes, we make a, workshop, a workshop to to learn, to, ha to make a foundation. Later we may say, no, 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 that is a building. No, 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 it's not a building. It's only workshops, foundation, structure, walls, they lit the roof and say, no, no, man. Before to be police, I was professional builder, you know. So I know that it's a building. <laughs> and I say, sorry, please, yeah, I know, you know, but and we explain with the director the problem for the space. And that the student have a right to have the minimal condition to study. And we saw, we show the law and say, okay, you know that we need one meter and a half each student appear in the law to design all the public uh, university. So we have less, so we are well building more, okay? And he said, see, but the license. So it's okay. And at the end, it appeared more Frankenstein because that building was made with 85% of second-hand building and with a technical code in my hand. So at the end, it's covered with the European technical code and with the Spanish technical code. We are very alien. But at the end, it appeared more Frankenstein. And at the end, it's, it was the bill, like you go to the supermarket and appear two milks for one, two, and I think it costs, you can see, two floors, two classrooms, 69,000 euros. Shit. It's, it was a very, it's what, a very small budget to build together. It was 400 people working. Until the last project we are making is that, how many minutes I have? Three, two, oh. oh it's perfect. So, the most important is when the people, when it's normal to make competitions, but what's a competition? It's when the city or a private company decide to make a building in that corner, in that political moment, with that budget and with that use. So all the important decisions appear before. And then the architect go running, I respect, to make the most beautiful building now. And who decided the building there, and the levels, and the budget, and the others? But it's okay. In our case, it's the people that appear to say, okay, we need more space, we need one new university, we need uh, alternative education or housing. Uh, and that project, it's, a, it's the crazy project, it's a, in the mo a poorest part in Spain, it's the Cañada Real, it, 12 kilometers, where there are 50,000 people. Uh, we are working in the fifth uh, part that is 70% uh, from Morocco, uh, 22 from Gypsy from Spain, and Ramans, and some white person, Payos, like they call us, the Gypsies. Uh, Payo. <laughs> okay, it's a very special place, but in that case, is the city from Madrid who call us, who phone us, because they try to make a competition during two years, and all the teams, the social teams, architects from Madrid, nobody wanted to make it. So two years, they make the competition, empty. Second year, empty. At the end, the mayor phone us, say, okay, we know your way of work, could you try to make that social center? They go, it could be, but you must to change the, the public contract. Because at the end, they, they make the, the, the public contract for companies who make containers, who make uh, housing, all the same. But not for teams that work with the people. At the end, the contract is the same that for other projects. It's a cheat. And I say, all the politicians, it's, it's a cheat. So the next, if you don't change, and make a new politics, not only for our team, for other teams to be more comfortable, so if not, you will build alone, or not build. So that is the place, okay, at the end, you have all the relation between all the agents, political agents, social agents, uh, neighbors, students, and in that case, we decided to make the more complicated way of build. We involve, by now, only that project has more than a thousand people collaborating in only four months. 
It's crazy. But we involve, we, de we decide to make different pieces for the social center, and each one of the spaces are made in different places, not in the same place. We send material to one person in a jail, and with neighbors from the neighborhood that we know they are in the jail, we build a part on the top. With 600 students from eight years until 18 years, we build another building. With uh, the network of WOMA for Latin America in Madrid, we build another building. So the logistic is crazy, but the process is amazing. So at the end, that beautiful drawings is the open call, okay? And we started uh, with, you can see the type of housing um, behind us. Uh, and then we started to bring the materials that we prepare with the other collective. That it was the, the, the first, it was made for, I don't remember, 50 women from the Latin America networking in Madrid. And, and they, we work with them and then we bring here. Then we started with our staff there, Recetas Urbanas, and with the gypsy, we have one day or two days with gypsy boys and Morocco boys and girls, only for a uh, woman in the Friday, because with the Morocco and Arabic, we can't, the main word now by now, if not the main attack us, it's crazy, so we are using the, the workplace like a battle place to recognize the difference between the different ethnics and religions. But at the end, it's working in one school during two months and with 600 students. So it's, it's important when you make a social project that you go to the old environment, the minimum, for all the public school to say, we are working in that process. Because at the end, the teachers, the director, the family say, we want to collaborate. 600 person and 600 families who knows about that place that appear in newspaper always with problem with drugs, with guns, violence. But now it's OK. We know that appear, but not all the people. So the people from there are amazing too. So we are now finishing. That picture was from the last week. Uh, Two days ago, I was there, or yesterday, I don't remember, yesterday in the morning. Yes. And for the city now, for Madrid, uh, say, how we can repeat that experience? Because if you, you are involving the schools, four universities from Pais Basque Country, from Alicante, from Segovia, uh, La SDME, so, University are collaborating. Public school, the jails now, not only one, three jails want to collaborate in other social projects. We have now the protocol to involve that people. You know, that is our advertisement. You are here and it's permitted to, to be here at all the people. So you can see music and it's the official, it's the official workplace, it's from the city, it's for the city. So appear the technician from the city with a tree, tie, and say, what's that? You can't put that advertisement. Why not? I sign that it's possible. So it's a way to change the politic to use that public land. We are building in that public land, we know, but during all the process, we are making social meetings, we are making sports, we are making playgrounds in the same workplace. So. Uh, not only because it's cheaper. And I am finishing now because that process, it was proposed in Antwerpen, in Belgium. I, I want to say that where the major is from the radical right. That is the problem sometimes when you want to make mm, new politics and you meet with that type of person. And in that case, uh, they invite us to in, try to, uh, to make a, one experiment in the conning playing where Actually, there is, I don't know, 175 different nationalities and identities, and they call, it's the more problematic place in Antwerpen, in Anveres, Anveres. I say, that place, really? Because they have 
drugs and sometimes people having whiskey and similar. So we make the experiment there in the first world to, to try with the, their own permits, license and laws involve all the community. And it was a very good example that will repeat now in Gothenburg. We made a process, a project in Gothenburg four years ago in, in Roda Sten. Uh, it's a culture center and we built together the how, how house of words with 75 person from Gothenburg and Stockholm and from Brazil. So for me, it's a question to arrive to another country and to learn about the relation between citizen and government. That, uh, that meeting are talking about that question too, no? How the university have tools, have the energy, or have the helps from the city or the government to make politics together or alternative politics? Both are correct for me. So in April, in four weeks, we'll be there in Gothenburg. If you want to appear there, you're invited. I hope it's raining, I hope it's difficult. They say, Santi, no drinks in the workplace. Said, Why not? <laughs> because the first project we made in Gothenburg, so to have lunch, I said, no, no. For vegan, vegetarian, they go, okay, okay, okay. You respect all, respect me, beer. <laughs> yes, and that pro in that process, each day we have two boxes of beer. So it's, uh, we'll see there, but now it's with the city. It's more, here is Sam, uh, here collaborating with us. Hola. So the beer after, okay? After work. You control me, okay? And me too. So in four weeks we'll be there. In two days I will make a, an open call there to different institution or people or a school of architecture to invite people to build together in Gothenburg. We'll see what's happening in the relation, public relation with the citizen and politicians. Thank you.